I removed 8,000 followers from Instagram and I'm planning on removing 2,000 more. Now, the other day I got a message from one of my followers and he told me that my pictures never showed up on his feed and that's too bad because like he always liked looking at my photos and this wasn't like the first time it's happened it's like it's happened from like other people and uh, I didn't really know why I mean like, I post every day same time so I did a little digging around and that's how I learned about the Instagram algorithm you know but anyways here's what I learned uh, first of all, Instagram shows your pictures to like a small percentage of your followers and If enough people like it, it will start showing it to more and if many people like it, it will show it to more and more and and so on but Let's say people don't really like it so much. It's not very interesting then Instagram will say oh We're not gonna show it to other people because it's like kind of trash picture, you know and that's how I learned that Instagram doesn't show your pictures to everybody that follows you, you know? Like, back in the day, Instagram used to show your pictures as, depending on the time of the day that you posted, right? But now it kind of like ranks you, like, oh, this is good, we'll show it to this person, maybe we're not gonna show it to this person, or something like that. But I didn't know that, like, I didn't know Instagram did that kind of bullshit, you know? So I could see why a lot of Instagrammers are mad. So anyways, I started to do some research and I learned that like all these ghost followers and inactive accounts actually affect how many of your followers look at your photos. And like, uh, in case, I'm gonna put it like in a very kind of simplistic way. Let's say you were like me, you had 20,000 followers, right? And let's say like half of them were robots or like half of them with robots, inactive accounts, and people that just don't care your photos. Like, uh, there's follow and unfollow people. Some of them follow you just so you would follow them and leave it like that. So there's a lot of people like that. Anyways, so let's say it's like half and half. Instagram decides to show your picture to like 5% of your followers, but in reality, it's only showing it to 2.5% because half of those followers are just robots or inactive accounts and people don't, they don't care about you, right? So then your picture only really gets shown to 2.5% of the people that follow you. And enough, if enough of those people that follow you uh, like it, it will show it to more. So that's a problem and that's the problem I was, try I was trying to find myself in. So I decided to basically get rid of all the inactive accounts. That's maybe accounts that hadn't logged in in 150 days. And uh, I also decided to get rid of accounts that have never liked or commented on any of my photos. So it's kind of both. Yeah, liked and commented, neither. Now you might be wondering, how did, how did I do this? Well, actually there's many, many programs on Instagram that uh, that get rid of these ghost followers, you know, or inactive accounts. Now, my main target was actually the bots because, you know, Instagram has like a huge bot problem. Like every time I post a picture, I'll get a few bots follow me, you know, and they're all, you know who they are. They're like, uh, oh, come check out my photo or like yours is so cool. Come check out my profile, follow for follow, blah, blah, blah. Those are bots. Some of them just follow you and then they'll follow you, hoping that you will follow them. But some of them also just kind of follow you and just leave it at that, you know? Anyways, those are my main targets, along with the inactive accounts. And unfortunately, sometimes real people that actually care about my photos, uh, they get caught in that. And uh, I feel really bad about it, but I also have to think about the other followers who really do want to see my photos, but they can't because there's so many bots in my account, you know? So went down from 20k down to 12k and i still have 2k to go but i'm gonna leave i'm gonna leave it at uh, maybe 1000 just just in case you know i'll give him a chance give him a chance to like a comment and uh, i think i'll just be doing this like every uh every 5,000 followers or something you know just to just to keep the instagram clean and make sure that everybody is 
looking at my uh, my stuff you know and you guys might be wondering what app are you using like how do you do this like and there's so many apps you just got to go to like your app store and just search for like ghost instagram followers but the one i'm using is called a uh, cleaner for instagram it's like very simple um if you get the free one they let you take away like 50 at a time but that's gonna take if you have like a big account like me like you have to uh you should pay it's like eight bucks i didn't want to pay it for a second oh my god eight dollars but it's actually a pretty good investment and they were just like uh you just select all of them and it'll erase them little by little you know like 50 every hour just slow drip of removing fake followers that way you don't get like banned from instagram or something but uh yeah that's what i've been doing and actually, I've been watching my engagement rate keep going up. So like every post is getting more and more uh, uh, likes and follows. And some of you guys might not say like, why do you even care? Because you know, actually your engagement affects the growth of your account. Like um, the higher the engagement, the more chances you have to be like on the explore page, you know? And that's when new people follow your stuff. Like uh, maybe you have like a lot of people that just don't care about you on your account. like. Uh, I have my aunts, my brothers, my cousins, like they never log into Instagram. They just made an account, follow me and just left it that like I never see them post. Uh, maybe there's people who just like stopped using Instagram altogether. Those are the inactive accounts. You got the bots. There's a lot of spammers and like a lot of, a, a lot of that stuff, you know? And like uh, maybe there's just people, maybe you have like an ex that hates you, but like she's still stalking you, you know? Checking you out, seeing what you do. And uh, yeah, so like if you're watching this video and like you have like an, a favorite Instagram or something, but like you never like or comment, you just like looking at their stuff, uh, you're actually kind of hurting them. And uh, I didn't know about that. So yeah, if you follow me, please be sure to like every now and then, you know, so the cleaner doesn't pick you up. You don't have to like every post or like sometimes. But uh, yeah, keep that in mind that you're actually uh, hurting your favorite Instagrammers if you don't do anything like that. But uh but yeah, that's all I had to say on that. And you guys might be wondering, what about the people who really love your photos but never like the comments? And to be honest, this program, uh, yeah, it removes them. But if they like my photos, they can follow me back right away. You know, like, like I say, my main uh, concern was getting rid of all these bots, you know, and all these spammers because they also go into other accounts and spam them too. So if my real like followers like the, that love my stuff. Uh, if they get on, if they unfollow me by accident because of the app or something, uh, they can follow me back right away, and they, you know that's fine. So that's what I think. I think if they really truly like my stuff, they will find me again. You know, it's always gonna suggest it. Oh no, Alonso. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys found this video informative. It's pretty kind of shocking revelations if you didn't know about this kind of thing. But yeah, it's always good to learn something new, right? So. Uh, Feels bad watching your number get cut in half, but I guess there was a question on Reddit. What would you rather have? Like 100,000 followers, but only 100 of them are real or just 100 followers and all of them are real. You know, I go for the lowest number because you get the highest engagement. That means more people will come to your page and see your photos, you know, and you want everyone to see your photos. You don't want to be like, oh, all my followers don't get to see my pictures because all these robots are like not even engaged right so yeah um i'll see you around